What's good, YouTube man? It's your boy Lady Go. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, man, smash that subscribe button. I wrote the 2K subscribers. I'm coming at you guys with a, another great goddamn video, bro. React to DDG. You know, DDG and Solomonati, they, they reunited, they reignited their beef. So, you feel me? I already reacted to Solomonati video. We're gonna react to DDG side and see, you know, who we're in the right in this situation. I don't know, man. Y'all gonna help me out. We'll just call and just see. Hello? Hey, uh, I got a quick question. Uh, <laughs> so this this very mean person made a, uh, Damn. a YouTube video. A mean person? He put way too petty as a sound in the video. We could claim it, right? Uh, we should be able to, yeah. If he used the sound in that. Do you know how many how much of the song he used? Yeah, he used, he used a decent amount. I, can't you just... Do it because it's fair use, right? Also, claim to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It should be played by Sony Music. Okay, I'm gonna send you the link after this. So we can make one for fifty. Okay. Oh, no, yeah, send me the link. All right. That nigga. In some way, somehow, he made. That nigga so is on demon time, bro. <clears throat> that nigga so on demon time, bro. That nigga. <laughs> we talked about that man, girl. Well, they both talked about each other, girls, like, type shit. Still, like I told y'all, about money. It's either money, jewelry, cars, clothes. Which one is it? Motherfucking sprinklers turned on while I was out here trying to go crazy. High vibrations, good energy. But listen, <laughs> it comes to a point he can't even respond. Notice, he called the industry and he asked them, Can you please take the video down or can I please make money off the bid? Damn. Do you notice? Out of everything I said about him, exposed him, I cussed, I said Disney exposed, all, all type of shit in the bid. If you reacted to the bid, you notice it wasn't monetized. <clears throat> there was no ads on the bid. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> There was video no ads what? on the video. No, the video is monetized first 20 seconds. Sick. It wasn't no ads on the video because you ain't put ads on it. You wanted to make money, but you got demonetized, y'all. This is the face of a man that is sick, broke, and struggling. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, like, why you think he double why you think he uploading every single day? To make money. We do YouTube to make money. You made a dumb move, you disrespected me on a video and you play my song in it, why wouldn't I mess your motion up? And if he already got demonetized, like- But uh, I remember he did the same shit, uh, Pretty Boy Fredo with that uh, moonwalking in Calabasas. That shit, Fredo dropped, I ain't gonna lie, that shit was, it was sliding. Somebody had to write it for him, but you feel me, that shit was sliding though, I ain't even gonna cap. But hey, it's about who uses their brain, you know? That's sick. I honestly feel bad for you. That's you ain't have to tell on them you and get them zero, demonetized. You all of that rant for nothing. Just to bring more attention to me around me dropping music and they make no money from it. So where does the benefit from it? I'm not doing none of this for the money. The video was demonetized. I couldn't get paid for it anyway. Oh. It got demonetized because he don't know how to get around it. See, if you was my homie, man, you know what I'm saying? If you were quick hating on me. I could have showed you how to get around it, cause I. What, bro? So Illuminati, DDG. I feel like y'all. You feel me? If there wasn't no beef, bro, y'all niggas would be cool as shit. Are you feel me? Y'all niggas would be a, a a crazy ass duo. So coming to your highs, you feel me? Chilling. God damn, y'all make basketball videos together. Get on stream with each other, type shit. Play the game. You play 2K. You play 2K. You feel me, type shit. Posted an hour long reaction. Y'all both, you feel me? Go to what y'all do. And I'm gonna make thousands of dollars. you gonna make zero. Who's winning in the situation? Who doesn't want money? Listen, if y'all a fan of this man, don't let him make y'all think money is not important. Because that's a lot of the reason why people are still in the hood. True. Who wouldn't wanna make a million dollars? True. Who true. wouldn't wanna buy their mom a house? Who wouldn't wanna? Put their family in a better position. Don't right. let him make y'all think money not important, bro. Go get your bag. 
That shit right. is important. True. Videos get demonetized, just like my second channel. Look, this is all the videos. Ugh, Some of us don't do it. Hold on. Dang game, get ready. Damn, so he really wasn't doing it for the money. He ain't making no money off of that shit. Damn. Okay. Some of us actually come up here and expose and shit, man. See what he did? He hit limited. Okay? What does that mean? Let me show you how fake and a fraud he is. Limited ads is all the videos that's yellow mark. I can show that too. If you literally click on the tab and it put limited, let me show you. Just so y'all know. He's trying to make it seem like. Got hit with that. Okay. Let's go. You need to listen to this urgently double because ass, there is a bro, new YouTube. generation of millionaires that is Crazy about to emerge. And listen up. He don't do YouTube for money. You go to monetization, right? Mm -hmm. Limited, right? Apply. These are yellow videos. That's what he shows y'all. Oh, video that's yellow. Everybody okay. got that. If you literally put the tab on and say limited, you can see that? You can see the limited videos. Tell him to take that off and see how many of them is green. <laughs> trying to tell y'all, bro. He trying to fool y'all and y'all falling for it. This man is struggling. I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, like I'm a, I'm a YouTuber. I know how the game go. He's back on YouTube because he needs money. Doodle -doo garbage. Can't only bring that money. He got to call the industry and stuff. Damn, he literally just said that. He was like, bro, that shit crazy. The nigga just said that he was gonna bring up money and he did. That's crazy. And it's the 48 laws of power. I could literally take all his fans right though. now. He's, bro, he's, he's empty. Well, he can't buys. help nobody um, with mental health. He can't help nobody with depression. He'll probably just tell him, go get some money. He has no genuine connection with anybody, bro. I told y'all, everybody see it now. The only thing he could think about was money. Bro, how was you so vulnerable and bothered? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, something really wrong with this, bro. All right, I'm gonna say I'm talking out the way. My God. Bro, you really should retire. Your fans see you for what you are. Broke as me, broke spiritually. He really broke his hand for real. He has nothing to offer for nothing. All he can do is tell. But, hey, I rest my case. Everything I said has come true. Everything I said, the first thing he could think about was money. On a video that wasn't making no money in the first place. I'm glad y'all got a chance to watch it with no ads. Like the majority of all my other vids. I cuss in every video. Man. It's not possible. I'm talking about selling soul and all this different shit. You think they really gonna pay me for this? That's not. But, Hey. I don't even want to beef with you, bro. Like, I'm cool off of it. Really in a positive head space. And I know, and I'm not even trying to be funny. I know an addict when I see one. Damn. This man is addicted to psychedelics. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. When you do psychedelics and stuff, I've ate a mushroom before, y'all. You want to be in nature. You want to do this and that. He eats them every day to the point where his brain is fried to the point where he thinks he can bend time. He probably thinks he can fly, too. <laughs> I'm trying to tell y'all, bro, like something is genuinely wrong with him he can laying down in the grass and, and rolling around in the grass with your shirt off and being in nature is going to make you happier. Like, it's not. He still gets depressed. He still gets sad. He still probably argue with his girl, whatever the hell, like, He's not the perfect human. I'ma just, I'ma try it out because I genuinely be wondering like if this. This nigga, bro, I know he's not about to. I know this man not about to roll around in the dirt. Don't help me feel better. Nigga, that's not even real grass. What the hell? This nigga is on turf. This nigga rolled around on turf. Come on, TDG. Nigga, stupid, bro. Uh, oh, you feeling it? Nothing changed. Oh, Nothing shit. just changed for me rolling in this grass. <laughs> get your ass in the house and go get to work. Okay? Laying in the grass ain't gonna get you out of the position that you're in right now. True, true. Running outside and preaching about nature ain't gonna get you where you wanna go in life. 
But if you go outside, you get on your knees and you pray, you feel me? That will, that'll help you. You're praying to God, that, that shit'll help you, bro. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all, bro. Like, quit letting. I see so many manipulated, dumbfounded kids that be in my comments and replying to me. I get like, y'all, y'all like. Y'all like him as a streamer, as a creator, because he's funny. I would admit that. He's a funny person. But the nature shit, he using that to manipulate y'all and make this little cult. But it's going to make y'all sad on the inside, bro. You're going to be stuck in the position. See, what I like to do for my supporters, I like to motivate them to be better, to excel, to, to live a better life. Okay. I'm from Pontiac, Michigan. I grew up in the struggle, from the hood, grew up in poor conditions, never grew up around money. It's like, I know what it's like to be in a bad position. A lot of my supporters are in bad positions, believe it or not. All right. I'm sure some of y'all got a bag or some of y'all lit or silver spoon, whatever. Some of y'all work hard, whatever. But I know a lot of my supporters, just from what I see, y'all come from the same type of background that I came from. True. There's probably a lot of people that watch him that's definitely in the same position. Don't let this man make you think money not important. It is important in this life. We need true, money true. to survive. We need money to eat. We need money to live the life. A lot of the music that's coming out right now and a lot of people that y'all probably idolize beyond like content creators, we are in a better position most of the time because we're grinding. Three, four, five years ago, Solomonati was making a lot of money. He's not getting yellow mark for every video. He's doing YouTube for money. People double upload for money. Okay? People upload every day for money. Don't let anybody think. Don't let anybody fool you to believe that they're not doing content creation for money. Obviously, for the love of it. I post for the love of it. I post because it is... Yeah, we got hit with a half. The homeless problem is getting worse. It's not getting better. The crime is getting worse. Does it inspire? Because I was just about to say, goddamn, Mr. Beast, that nigga, he basically saying he don't really make money. He makes good money, but, like, he don't spend it and go crazy on himself with it. He, he basically does YouTube because he loves it. He genuinely loves it. Like, he damn near live a normal life, got one car, one house. Got his girlfriend, all that. He basically does it because he enjoys doing YouTube. He's a content creator at heart. So not everybody, oh, I just need the money. Yeah, nigga's the biggest YouTuber on the planet, Mr. Beast. That nigga, he does YouTube because he genuinely loves it. He loves being creative. That nigga averaging like 150 million views a video. And I motivate people when I post on YouTube. I've been doing it for seven years. But I wouldn't be able to continue doing it if I wasn't making money. If I wasn't right. making money on YouTube, I would have to get a job. If right. I had to get a job, I wouldn't have time to post. True, true. You feel me? See how true. it go? So don't let him make y'all think that he not doing this for money. Okay, I'm pretty sure his video didn't get demonetized. But on top of that, I don't even want to beef with him. Like, I see what you're trying to do. You're trying to keep the beef going and all of that. Um, and I honestly just want to focus on music. Y'all know I'm dropping a project July 14th. I probably got to add a moonwalking in Calabasas Part 3 on there for him. <laughs> but it's, like trolling it's coming out July 14th. I would love for you to pre- I want to apologize to Solomon and I. I'm going to be the bigger person. Okay. okay. I want to apologize for hitting your girl. I apologize Nigga. for hitting y'all. It's not, it's not something that I'm trying to hold over your head. I might troll it a little bit, but it's like I, I can honestly see how it changed your life. You had dreads before I hit your hoe. <laughs> you was creating funny videos. You was going crazy. I thought that they broke up, and he was with a whole other girl when DDG flew her out. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. He was consistent before I hit your hoe. Now you got a new girlfriend and she, you know what I'm saying, you probably got over that situation. So now you're in a better headspace and you can upload more. I'm happy right. for you. I want you okay. to keep grinding. 
But I don't want to go back down that road or continue to troll you because it's not going to do nothing but end bad for you. And I want to say rest in peace to your brother. I didn't know that your brother passed away. I don't check for you and your family. I know nothing about your brother. But I know what it's like to lose a brother. Okay. And it is a hard thing. And I never meant any disrespect towards True. you losing your brother. Um, yeah, it, it take a real man to apologize, you feel me, when he, you know, I ain't gonna say wrong, but he didn't know, but you feel me, that's real, I respect him for that, real nigga salute. And that had nothing to do with me trolling you and stuff like that at all, genuinely. I feel like it's black creators and, and, and people that's making an, imp making an impact, because he does have a solid fan base and he's making an impact on the world. That nigga got a cult. And, you know, especially, I mean, pretty much... A lot of black creators from that time period, like 2016, 2017, we got a lot of influence. Yeah, uh, yeah. Apologize, brother. I don't want no more smoke. You do your thing, I do my thing. Um, I'm happy I was able to contribute to you coming back because it wasn't gonna come back to YouTube until I start poking at you, okay? <laughs> too much of anything. Don't take too many psychedelics. I'm gonna put a clip at the end of the video so y'all see what I'm talking about since y'all think I'm just talking out the side of my neck. This man is high off psychedelics every time he vlogs. I had a psychedelic trip, bro. Microdosing. I microdosed for the first time and it, it, it had a lot to do with the situation. You know, my the stuff that happened with my fam. My fam going through so much. And man, I started, I already talked about a lot on Patreon. And it was just dark, y'all. And I ended up coming to the conclusion, like, man, I probably need to try this show, like, try psilocybin, try these shrooms out, see what's popping. And it changed my life. It really helped me. If you are suffering from addiction, bro, just because he tried a drug, bro, you said you tried it too. Just because he tried it, now he's addicted. When you, you said you tried it too, it's crazy. Yeah, man. That's the end of this video, y'all. Leave your comments in the comment section, bro. From my point of view, you know, he did apologize. You feel me? So hopefully this beef it should be over with. But hey, who knows? I don't know what the future got, ho. I don't know what the future got. You feel me? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I can't see the future, so I don't know if it's going to end right here. Hopefully it's the last, you know, video. They're going at each other. Hopefully they can get on the phone and chop it up. I just, you know, coexist. You feel me? But yeah, man, that's the end of this video. Please like, comment, subscribe for more late content. It's your boy, the GOAT. I'm out. Peace.